Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Ark. We got the new T-Rex over here that was incubating in the last episode. It's a female. I named her Ellie after Ellie Sattler from the original Jurassic Park. That was a popular suggestion for this dino's name, which I ended up naming Ada. And now we have seven Rexes. I'm probably going to breed them at least a couple more times. I'd like to have ten if possible, so uh, we'll work on that. But for now... We are going to go try and tame a Megatherium. Two if we can, a male and a female, so we can mate them. I have a trap in Philly's inventory, as well as a tree platform so we can try and get some honey to feed the thing. And I also have a Megatherium saddle in here. So, uh, let's go do this shit. Like I said, I want to try and get a male and a female today so we can start mating them, but one at a time. So, uh, they are found in the redwoods. I've seen these things wandering the beach, so that's kind of what I'm going to start with. You know, heading down the beach here, see if we can find one. Uh, they are more prone to spawn in the snow biome, but if we can find one here in the redwoods, uh, that would be better, just because it's closer to home. Here's the T-Rex trap we built. Be nice if we can find a Megatherium right here, we can just use this trap. But I don't see one. They kind of look like giant sloths. Um, and the reason I'm going after them today is because many, many people have told me to bring these guys to the uh, brood mother boss fight because apparently the Megatheriums get some sort of buff from killing bugs. So that's the plan. Now we are limited to 20 tames for a boss fight. So I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, 12 T-Rexes and 8 Megatheriums. Hopefully that's enough. No oh, shit. I was waiting for that. Here, eat some shotgun shells, bitch. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Come on. Doing the moonwalk. There we go. Unstuck. All right, let's harvest this guy and then, uh, yeah. Screw it. We'll just push into the redwoods. I don't care. If another Thyla attacks us, I've got the shoddy. Uh, I've set Philly to neutral, so she'll attack the Thyla as well. Hold up, I better get the, uh, I better have the shotgun ready, just in case. And let's just push into the redwood. screw it. Got an explorer note right here. Pick this up. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. Tiptoe over there. Got it. All right, close this shit. Got a level, and I'm going into wait. Looks like we got another explorer note over here. I haven't really explored inside the redwoods that much. So this is pretty sweet. Close that. How many levels we got here? Two? Let's go melee damage and wait again. Well, it might be dangerous, but it sure is pretty in here. Probably one of my favorite places in the game, the Redwoods. Hey, let's eat this buck. We got the XP boost. See if we can get another level. Oh, this stupid fucking ant. Get out of here. Let's, uh, well, let's eat this buck, get some pelt. And that that's not the Redwoods. We're like on the uh, outer perimeter here. So I think we want to stay to the right. Here we go. There's one right here. It's Park Philly. Check it out. Level 92 male. I'll fucking take it. Let's build a trap right here. And then once it's knocked out, we'll take that tree platform and we'll try we'll use that to try and get some honey out of a bee's nest on one of these trees here in the redwoods because that is apparently the megatherium's favorite food. So we'll see if we can pull that off. Oh shit. That was a mistake. I'm rushing. Now we're going to be one wall short. Hopefully that doesn't uh, cause any problems. That what's going on over here? Oh, this little piece of shit. Get out of here. Did it just rob me? It did. My shotgun shells. I should have put some of those berries in the last slot. 
Because then when it tries to rob you, it grabs the berries, and then you automatically tame it. But anyway, uh, let's put the ramps in. Only because those little bastards are all over the redwoods. And the last thing I need is one of them stealing my shotgun shells. Alright, let's do it. Come on up here. Get in there. Oh, shit, it went around the trap. Not good. Come on, get out. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it, I forgot to set Philly back to passive. Now Philly's gonna be attacking this thing. Not good. Where is it? Come on, this way, you fuck. Great. Philly, over here. I gotta whistle Philly passive. Or this is gonna be a problem. Holy shit. All right, there we go. Oh my god, a fucking Thyla entered the chat. Get out of here, you bitch. Oh, we're fucking dead now. This is great. This is going good. Into the trap. There he comes. Oh, man. And we got him. Oh, we got two of them. There were two of them? Holy shit. Unbelievable. Let's drink this medical beverage before we die. Wow, I don't know if that other one's a female or not. I sure hope it is. Let's just work on knocking them out. All right, there goes that guy. Grab some arrows back. And we do have a female here. How sweet is that, man? Ow. Oh, shit, Philly. Come on. I whistled her back to neutral, just in case uh, I got attacked while trying to ta uh, knock these two out. So now uh, Philly is back to passive. Just gotta keep that in mind. All right, she's knocked out. Unbelievable. I can't believe we got a male and a female in the same trap first try. I'm either just naturally really fucking good at this game, or I'm just the luckiest son of a bitch alive. You guys decide. Me, I'm gonna try and grab some honey out of this bee's nest without getting stung to death. I'm gonna use this tree stand here. And this might have been a waste of materials, because it did cost a lot of materials to craft. But we'll break it down before we leave. Now basically, there is a way to do this safely. You can just kind of build around the bee's nest and reach in through a window and grab the honey. But I don't got time for that shit, so I'm just gonna grab it and run. Philly, you stay right there. Here we go! Ow, getting stung. We're just gonna fly away until we're out of the bee's territory here. And we're good. Took a bit of damage, but we're all right. Now, let's get back to the trap. Get some honey in these megatheriums. Get them all tamed up, and uh, I'm gonna put the saddle on the male, the higher level. And uh, we'll have a nice walk home. All right, let's go break down. Oh, look at this. The female is tamed. All right, we're gonna name her Mallory. And you'll understand why once we name the male. Let's turn off the following here. And uh, let's put some raw meat in her inventory. Because right now she probably only has like one jar of honey. Make sure she stays nice and fed. There we go. And uh, the male should be tamed up here pretty soon. But, uh, like I said, I want to break down this tree stand, put those materials into Philly's inventory. I guess the only real way to do this is to stand on it and demolish it. Not the smartest move, but I'm doing it anyway. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of damage there. Not bad. I can't move because I'm completely encumbered. I'm going to drop some of this wood here. And let's get the metal and all the other shit into Philly's inventory. Who the hell is Philly? Ah. <laughs> Come on down from there. Oh, the male Megatherium is tamed. And we're going to name him Mickey. We got Mickey and Mallory. And if you don't know who Mickey and Mallory are, then go watch Natural Born Killers. And you can thank me when you're done. Let's grab up all this wood we dropped. Might as well. No sense in leaving it behind. 
And then we're going to ride on Mickey. And we're going to have Mallory and Philly follow us home. And we'll murder some things along the way. We want to level up Mickey and Mallory as much as we can before we mate them. So a walk home should do us well. All right, here we go. Uh, Philly's following us, but Mallory is not. Here we go. I don't even know uh, which way. Let's, uh... Oh, there's the beach. Let's just head towards the beach. Uh, we are pretty far from home here, but that's okay. I mean, we could cut through the redwoods for a shortcut, but screw it. I'm gonna stick to the beach line. And then we don't gotta deal with Thylas knocking us off our saddle and shit. And like I said, we'll kill a bunch of things along the way and level up. Hey, Garno. Oh, look at that. 152 thatch. Just from hitting that broken wood on the floor. Plus, I put the smack down on that Carno, even though we are bleeding out a little bit. We're fine. I'm gonna go all into melee damage. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Another thing about these uh, Megatheriums, they can harvest thatch uh, pretty quickly. So that's good. Come here, sheep. Why are you so fast? Oh, well, fuck him. Holy shit, did you see him run up that rock? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he should have kept running, sheep. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I mean, it's three on one, so shouldn't be a big deal. Let's do it. Sneak attack, bitch. Oh, boy. Come on, turn. These things don't turn very fast. And there goes Philly chasing it off. That's the problem with having them on neutral. Look, both of them, they're just running after it now. Uh, if I whistle them passive, they should come back to me, because I believe they are still following me. I think Mallory's coming back. Yeah. Oh! Well, now they're passive, and the fucking Spino is attacking them. Fuck off out of here. There we go. Alright, let's keep it moving, gang. We gotta get home. This crazy-ass bird thinks it stands a chance. I don't think so. I've just been pumping all these points into melee damage. I think that's the way to go. Well, I'm robbing this beaver dam. Who's gonna stop me? The beavers? Let them come try. Taking everything out of here so it gets destroyed and respawns. And I'll uh, just jump on Mickey here and throw the wood in his inventory so we're not encumbered. If we have to hop off. And we're good to go. Home is right there. We did it. What a great morning. Holy shit. I can't... I still can't believe we managed to get a male and a female in the same trap. I didn't even see the female. I was just trying not to die at that point. Anyway, um, let's get these two inside. I don't want to get them mating yet. Because I want to take a ride up to the uh, volcano and grab some metal out of the forges. Get some more metal into the forges. So I don't know how quickly these two are going to mate. And I don't want them having a baby while I'm gone, and then the baby dies of starvation and all that horrible shit. So, uh, we'll just put them back here for now. We'll take Philly up to the volcano, and then when we get back, we'll set them to mate. Alright, let's go. Uh, Philly's got a level here. Let's go wait again. And I'm not bringing Tony Stark with me. I know Tony can harvest a lot more metal than I can, but this is just going to be a quick trip. I want to grab the metal bars out of the forges, and I do want to get more metal into the forges, but I can harvest it with a pickaxe, and I want to grab more obsidian as well. But like I said, I, I would much rather just jump off, harvest the shit with my pickaxe real quick, and then get back home. Uh, I didn't feel like dragging Tony's ass all the way up here. There we are. Now, I did bring some of that wood with me that we grabbed from the beaver dam. So we can go ahead and throw uh, a stack into each forge and grab the metal bars out of them. There we go. All right, let's go get some metal and obsidian. We'll load up the forges, and then we'll get back home, get Mickey and Mallory mating, and hopefully have a baby Megatherium before this episode is over. Might as well check this drop real quick. See what we got in here. 
some wood structures. All right, I'll take it. Why the hell not? I'll find a use for it. Worst case scenario, I could always place it and then demolish it for the resources. That'll do it. Let's get out of here. We got a good amount of metal smelting down. We got a decent amount of obsidian. Next time I really want to go gather obsidian, I will take Tony Stark and we'll go to the mountain east of the volcano. There's a shit ton of it over there. Uh, I just need to check and see how much we have and how much we need for the stuff I want to craft. I'd like to craft a harpoon gun, which I know we need a decent amount of obsidian for. Because I think I do want to go explore an, an underwater cave before we fight this broodmother. Just to do it. You know, we've got Mega D. Um, we, I, I would probably need to craft another um, tank or whatever. Basically the chest piece for the scuba gear. Because I think... The oxygen might run out, so it'd be good to have a backup one just in case. And then, you know, a harpoon gun, and that's pretty much it. We'll go explore a water cave, which I've never done before. That might make for a fun episode. And then once we're done breeding these megatheriums and the rexes, we'll go fight the brood mother. And after that, we will decide whether or not we still want to uh, continue on here on the island or uh, give another map a try. Well, it's good to be home. What's up, everyone? Let's go uh, pet our hot dogs. That's the first thing you want to do when you get home. Let's pet your hot dog. And let's get the megatheriums set to mate. And then we'll unload Philly's inventory. Behavior. Enable mating. Uh, beha whoops. Behavior. Enable mating. Sweet. They're mating. You guys don't waste any time. I love it. All right, let's check Mallory. She's in gestation for about 17 more minutes, so we got some time to kill. All right, come here, little Glock 9. We're going for a walk. And when I say walk, I mean we're going to go kill a bunch of things. Come on, Neebs, get out of my way, God damn it! All right. Two Glock 9s. Exactly what this world needs. I get winner. Ah, fuck it. I'm killing all of you. You too. Everyone can get it. There's another level. Uh, probably melee damage again. Let's just keep doing that. I want to get that at least over 500. This guy looks like he can use some help. Let's give him some. There you go. That's the least I can do. There we go, another level. Let's go melee damage, that'll get that up over 500. I'm happy with that. Let's go check on Mallory. I think we've caused enough chaos along the beach here. We got a little under six minutes. Okay, I could wait. Here we go. Four, two, and baby. Where's the baby? Under her big ass tail. Here, let's throw the saddle on Mallory. Move her out of the way. Oh my god, look at this little thing. Imprint. Oh, name the Megatherium. I'm just going to call you baby for now. We'll figure out a better name later. Uh, access inventory. Here's some food, but why can't I imprint on you now? Did I already imprint on the baby? Um, I don't think I did. And now I don't have the option to. Yeah, it says imprinting 0%. Fuck. Well, it wants care in nine minutes and uh, change there, so I'll wait around, give it care when it needs it. That kind of sucks. Didn't get to 
imprint on it right away, though. That means I'm not going to be able to get imprinting to 100%. So, uh, whatever. We're definitely going to make the megatheriums more. So, maybe the next baby will get to imprint on. It sure is fucking cute, though. Alright, I'm going to give the baby care when she needs it and think of a good name for her. And once the megatheriums are able to mate again, we're going to do that. Like I was saying, I think 12 Rexes and 8 Megatheriums would be good to bring to the Broodmother fight. So we're going to have to get the uh, Rexes mating again as well. And that's what I'm going to be working on. But maybe in the next episode we'll go and try and take on an underwater cave. See what that's all about, just for the fun of doing it. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more ARK, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.